right, kids, another essential skills. How are you guys with completing the square? Again, all of this stuff can be found at, oops, I got my eraser out. All of this stuff can be found at www.nkinfinity.com. Come over to here. Where am I going? Not there. There. Oh. So what you want to do is click on here. This will take you to the home. This, will, this is where you're going to start out. Go to New York State Teachers and click on Review. And then go down to the bottom. You'll click on here. This is Algebra Regions Review Topics. Click on that. And we, I don't know what's going on. Apparently, these are out of order. So that's going to be changed. When you get there, that'll say completing the square for essential squills, squills 14. I don't know why it says that. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get started on this thing. So I put the steps, you know, this is the steps in there. Make sure your leading coefficient is 1. So we're going to divide through by 3. Make sure you divide through by everything by 3. And so I end up with x squared plus 12x plus 14 equals 0. Move the constant to the other side. x squared plus 12x equals negative 14. Now, this is adding half the middle term squared. To both sides. Now, here's the way I ask my kids to do it. When they write this step right here, because it's called completing the square, and to drive home the point it's called completing the square, I tell them write it with squares. x squared plus 12x plus square equals negative 14 plus square. Now, what goes in the square? We're going to add half the middle squared. Well, half the middle is what goes in these parentheses, positive 6. Then you square it. 36, 36. So on this side, I'm going to end up with, what, 22? Now, once you've done that, the next step is take the square root. Now, what's the one thing I hope your teacher harped on you about? When you take the square root, you drink some coffee, and you put a plus or minus. So you end up with x plus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 22. Solve for x. Bring the x over. x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 22. Now, I would add two other things to this. One, simplify radical. And two, check your bloody answer. Hope it's not bloody, unless, of course, it was a really hard problem. So here's how you check it. Very simple. Our answer was negative 6 plus the square root of 22. No, you can't put plus or minus in. Store it in for x and type in the original problem. The original problem was 3x squared plus 36x plus 42. And if it equals 0, you got it right. If it doesn't equal 0, you didn't get it right. Now, how can I check the other one to make sure they both work? Just come over here, highlight it, do press minus, press minus, press, psh, there it is, and then go up here, here, there it is, zero. It works. All right. So this one, let me get rid of some of this. Man, this stuff's a mess. It didn't, this didn't come out very well. Hopefully when I upload this, it'll look a little nicer. When I do this one, let me put it down here. I'm going to group the X's and Y's first. So it's going to be X squared plus excuse me, minus 4x. And I'm going to put the box right there, too, because I recognize it almost immediately that this is going to be a completing the square problem. So plus y squared plus 6y plus square equals, now notice I'm still moving the constant to the other side, so I might as well do that now, minus 4. But notice I put 1 and 2 boxes here, so I'm going to have to put two matching boxes over here. So, doing the same process, half the middle squared, half of this is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Put 4 in both boxes. Down here, y plus half of this. Half of this is 3. Squared is 9. 9. And I get 9 over here because these both cancel. So, that's it. I guess I'm done.
Oh, because this is a circle and they ask us, they want, they almost always ask this question, determine the center and the radius. Remember, the center comes from these two points. When they come out of the parentheses, they come out with opposite signs. Don't forget that. And this thing here is really equal to the radius squared. So if this is the center, the radius is equal to 3. All right, let's work on this. Solve for all values of x in simplest radical form using complete the square. So first process, divide everything by 2. So I end up with x squared plus 4x minus 76 equals 0. Bring the constant over to the other side. I always write it with two squares because I'm a square man. Is equal to 76 plus. All right. Half the middle goes in here, x plus 2. Square it goes in here. 2 squared is 4. You've got to add 4 to both sides. Equals, the square, equals 80. Come back. Take the square root of both sides. And don't forget to put a plus or minus. So I end up with x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 80. Bring the 2 over. I get x equals negative 2 plus or minus. Now, it says simplify this radical. So let's come over here square root of 80, and i got to write it as, you could write it as 4 times 20, but doesn't 4 go into 20? So now I can do 4 and 4, which makes 16. It's really 16 times 5. The square root of 16 is 4. So 4 square roots of 5. All right, let's do one more center radius. Group the x's and y's with a box. Group the x's together with a box, group the y's together with a box, and move the constant over. So x squared minus 2x plus box plus y squared plus 6y plus box. Move the constant over, negative 3 plus box plus box. So in the parentheses, half of the middle, square it, equals 1. 1 squared is 1. It's always adding something positive, 1, plus half of this squared, y plus 3 squared, 9, 9, equals. Now i got to add all this crap up. 10 minus 3 is looks like 7. So my center is here, backward signs, 1 comma negative 3. Now remember, this is equal to radius squared. So if I take the square root, I get r equals, or the radius is equal to the square root of 7. Now, I know when you take the square root, you put a plus or minus, but not with distances, kids. We have more? Oh, goody, more. I'll be back. Hey, make sure you're doing these on your own. Don't watch me do this. If you're watching me do this, you're wasting your time. Turn the video off and go home. Seriously. If you're just sitting there watching me perform like a trained monkey, you'll never get this. Pause the video, try this problem on your own. You can do it on a piece of paper anywhere. Don't, don't, don't have to have a copy of this in front of you. Try it on your own. All right, I'm back. We we'll put the x's together. x squared plus 10x plus box plus y squared minus 4y plus box equals negative 5 plus box plus box. Kind of running out of room there. So... Parentheses, parentheses squared. Half of this is 5. 5 squared is 25. Plus y minus half of this is 2. Negative 2 squared is still 4. 4. So this is equal to, looks like 24. All right. So what is the center? The center is negative 5, 2, and the radius is equal to the square root of 24, which can be written as the square root of 4 times 6, square root of 4 is 2, which really can be written as 2 square root of 6. Now, I didn't say in simplest radical form, so that's what you could have stopped just at the square root of 24. It said, find the roots of this polynomial by using completing the square. So in order to find the roots, I'm going to set it equal to 0. Bring the constant over, x squared minus 2x plus square equals negative 10 plus square. Half the middle, x 
minus 1 squared is 1. Add 1 to both sides. And I get equals uh, hmm, negative 9. That's weird. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. And I get x minus 1 equals. Now, what is the square root of negative 9? Oops, forgot my plus or minus. Bad, bad, bad. Plus or minus, the square root of negative 9 is 3i. It's not negative 3. It's 3i. So my answer is x equals 1 plus or minus 3i. Even this can be checked. Uh, 3 I, control var x, press enter, and then we're going to do x squared minus 2x, x squared minus 2x plus 10. Oh, 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 I... Okay, that didn't work because I didn't type this in right. I got my head up my keister. It didn't work. It should be 0 over there, but I made the mistake here. It should be 1 plus 3i. 1 plus 3i. And then type this in. It should if this is if this works, I should end up with 0. And there it is. I end up with 0. Okay, it works. Sorry about that, kitties. Type that in wrong. Here we go. What value of c what value C must be added to both sides in order to complete the square of this quadratic? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Now there's the problem. I get x squared minus 5x uh, minus 3 equals 0. Now if you were solving this by completing the square, you'd say x squared minus 5x plus square equals 3 plus square. And what they're asking for is what goes here. They're calling it C. So remember, it's half the middle. So just come up here, go half the middle. Okay, minus 5 over 2 squared. Well, what is 5 over 2 squared? Well, that's 25 over 4. 25 over 4. That's why we normally don't do completing the square when this is odd, because that's annoying. But c is equal to 25 over 4. Kind of an annoying question. What is the radius of this circle? Well, you can't talk about the radius until you get this thing in center radius form. So we group the x's together. x squared minus 14x plus square plus y squared plus 4y plus square equals 11 plus square plus square. Now notice I brought the 11 over, right? And all I really care about is this, because that's all it's going to give me the radius. Well, might as well do the whole thing. x minus 7 squared is 49 plus y plus 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 4, equals, now this is, this is actually 64. So my center, even though they didn't ask for it, my center, even though they didn't ask for it, is 7, negative 2, but my radius is equal to the square root of 64, which is just 8. All right, two problems left, and we are done with essential skills number, this should be 14, I think. I think I just put 1, oh, there it is, 14. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, da, 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 da. Express your answers in A plus BI form, which means we're going to have a negative under a radical. Anytime you see this, it means we're going to have a negative under the radical. So 4x squared plus 8x plus 7 equals 0. Oh, this one's going to be a pain in the neck. Divide by 4, divide by 4. There you see it right there. So I get x squared plus 2x plus square equals negative 7 over 4 plus square. All right. Half the middle. All right, it's not as bad as I thought. Half the middle is x plus 1 squared is adding 1. Adding 1. Well, in order to add these, I'm going to add 1 as the 4 over 4, right? Because isn't 4 over 4 1? Thanks. I appreciate you getting it. So you end up with negative... 3 over 4 here. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides. It's kind of a pain in the neck. So I get x plus 1 is equal to, 
Now, this one's kind of a pain. What's the square root of negative 3? Well, you really can't take the square root of negative 3, but I can take the square root of the negative. That's i square root of 3 all over, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, I just bring the 1 over. I get x equals negative 1 plus or minus. Oh, my goodness, I forgot the plus or minus again. Don't you forget that. Gosh, that's a stupid mistake. I square root of 3 over 2. Now, I wish I knew if this was correct or not. So I am going to check my answer. Let me get rid of all this other crap. So what did I say was the answer? Negative 1 plus control division. I square roots of 3 over 2. I think this is the right answer. I'm going to store it in X. Control var X. Now, you must type in the original equation. And don't type equals 0. That's a problem. 4x squared plus 8x plus 7 plus 8x plus 7. Just see, does it equal 0? Yep. Nailed it. There's no reason you shouldn't be checking everything on your graphing calculator. Which of the following equations has the sum solutions? I think we meant to put same here. Well, basically, they're just telling us to solve it. So x minus 5x, x squared minus 5x plus square is equal to negative 2. Now, we got, oh, you son of a soon, 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 soon. So we got to square this. So half of this goes in here. So x minus 5 over 2. 5 over 2 squared is 25 over 4. So I've got to add that to both sides, plus 25 over 4. So x minus 5 halves. So I know it's not this one, and I know it's not this one. Now I've got to take negative 2 and add 25 fourths. Now, negative 2 can be written as negative 8 over 4 plus 25 over 4. And if I add those up, I get 17 over 4. That's the answer, children. All right, that's the end. We're done. We're great. That's it. That's all she wrote. By the way, uh, no. I'm going to show you another way to do this. Watch this. Let's say we think this is the right answer. So let me just do this. I want to graph this. So I'm going to take this as my right answer, and I'm going to bring back the 17 fourths. All I'm going to do is move this over to the other side. So I think this is my right answer. So I want to solve it for equal to 0. So I'm going to bring that over. And I'm going to graph this, and I want to graph this. See, if you can abuse your graphing calculator on this test, and you can use it for the tool that it is, you may not be a tool. You see what I'm saying? Did you just call me a tool? Dude, I'll jump to that camera. Just kidding. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Graph mode, graph mode. The original was easy. x squared, x squared minus 5x. Minus 5x plus 2. Bam, shabam, there she is. Now I'm going to take the other one. The other one's kind of a pain. Tab, parentheses, x minus 5 divided by 2, parentheses, squared, right? Uh, squared. Uh, minus 17 divided by 4. I believe that was it, right? And this, if this is correct, they should match perfectly. Oh, look at that. Now, if you press the tab button, if you didn't see it, press the tab button, press the up arrow, and highlight red, don't highlight red. 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 Highlight. You're still watching? Man, dude, seriously, get a life. Hit the stop button. Goodbye. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me your friends know. Check us out. NK Infinity. See you, kids. Bye.